Good morning, Stampers. It's Debbie with Stamp It With Debbie. Welcome to Facebook Live today featuring Nothing's Better Than. And this is a great new set from the brand new annual catalog from Stampin' Up! And it covers all the bases. Nothing's better than coffee, cookie, cocktails, or chocolate. I don't know what else could be in there. So... Give me a minute. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm live on my end and that I can see you all. And if you're here, just leave me a comment or a thumbs up so I know you're here. And I'm getting, getting myself set up over on my page here just so I can see who's here. All right. I think we're ready to go. So again, today we're going to be featuring the Nothing's Better Than set from the annual catalog and this has a stamp set and coordinating dies. And the dies do cut out the words coffee, cookies, cocktails, chocolate. Also, I love you more than. And then it also cuts out the cookies, the cocktails, the coffee cup, the chocolate, and um, uh, that's part of the drink. So. I wanted to show you because it's really hard to see sometimes looking at the dies um, what the words say so this is just a little view of how the words look I didn't actually cut out the chocolates maybe I'll have to do that so that we can get a better idea I'll be using some of them today so you'll get a pretty good idea but these are the words that cut out and we're gonna be creating three projects using this stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I forgot to say that you can order this bundle through the catalog and I'll leave a link in the comments below and I'll also leave my host code because if you purchase $35 or more, I'll send you the make and take kits for these projects for free. You will need to have the stamp set or a similar stamp set to create the exact projects. But if you purchase this bundle, in the catalog, you save 10% by buying them both together. So if you bought them separate, you would pay 10% more. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I gave you a little sneak peek, if you saw, on the Facebook page. I'm always looking for ways. I don't know if you've seen these before. These are the little single serve, perfect size for one chocolate cakes. And I love doing projects with these. I think they're super fun and they're delicious. And so... That is gonna be my first uh, project for you today. Don't need a lot of supplies for it. You need a piece of cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna do a little bit of scoring. So I'm gonna grab my scoreboard and my stylus. And we're gonna score at five and a quarter, five and a half, now five and a half is the center point. I just gave it this little extra um, edge here, a little quarter inch, just so that the cake mix fit a little bit better inside of there. And then we're also gonna score at nine and a half. And that's all the scoring we need to do. And then I am going to use, very quickly, my trio punch. And I'm just gonna punch the I'm gonna punch the edge where I did the nine and a half. It's got this little one and a half inch score line here. And then I'm gonna do the other side. I just thought that I would round my project out today. Thought it would look a little bit better. If you don't have it, that works too. Okay, so we do need our bone folder. We're gonna score or burnish all of those lines just to make sure we have a nice edge. I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. It's almost Friday, you guys. It's a nice day here in Michigan and it's a little chilly here where I am, but it still feels nice out. Okay, so here is our little envelope that we're gonna create. We're not going to put any adhesive here because it kind of squeezes the um, I call it a box bag, whatever you want to call it. It squeezes it closed. I think it just looks a little bit better on the side when you have it open like that. Now, if you thought that the cake mix was going to fall out, you could 
put a little bit of adhesive on the back of it. So I am going to um, go ahead and put my cake mix in here. I'm going to first of all, I'm going to, on this little tab right here on the front, I'm going to put a little adhesive. And I'm having a little learning curve with our new adhesive. It works for me mostly, but usually when I'm live, it does not. So I'm going to use my Old Faithful. I'm going to put my cake mix right inside there. And I did not glue mine down. I'm using some of this gingham ribbon that is in the catalog. This comes in a three pack of ribbons. And just gonna cut a little off there and I'm gonna make a bow here on the side. That's what's gonna hold the package together. So again, if you felt more comfortable putting a little adhesive on the cake mix so it didn't fall out, you could put a glue dot so that it kind of stayed in place. All right, so I'm just making a little bow there. And then I cut the edges off so it looks cute and angled. And then we're ready to do a little bit of stamping. So this is the Just Jade Gingham Ribbon found in the catalog. Now, I need to grab my piercing mat and this piece is from the Hippo Happiness dies that I've talked so much about that um, I really like those dies that are available. And you'll be seeing me use them a lot. So this, this block has a lot of things on it. I already adjusted so I can just stamp everything at once. So it says, a day without chocolate is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. So I put all the stamps together. You could stamp them individually if you prefer, but I just thought it would be better if I could stamp them all at once. I am stamping on my piercing mat just so that I can get a better stamped image. Sometimes when we're stamping on, this is a um, plastic table, and sometimes when we're stamping on those, they have little divots in them, and so you don't get a good stamped image. So. I'm just cleaning off my stamp real quick. That was stamped with Early Espresso. I'm now stamping with Soft Suede. And I'm just going right over those yummy chocolates. Isn't that so cute? And I'm gonna clean that one off too. I like to clean as I go. That way I don't end up sticking my hand in something or my inks uh, onto my papers. So the only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Magenta Madness light marker and I'm just going to color on these little parts. So it looks like there's a little bit of pink chocolate on the top of our candies. Isn't that cute? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see. Oops. Well, I thought I was going to zoom in. I guess I'm not going to zoom in. I'll, I'll bring it to you. So hopefully you can see how cute that looks with the colored candy on there. And then I'm just going to take this piece and use a couple dimensionals and put them on the back. I'm going to do it top and bottom so that it goes over the ribbon. And how easy was that? Isn't that so cute? And I think that this would be a great thing. You hear me talk a lot, and I, you probably are tired of me saying it, but I like to give out little treats to service workers. And especially in this day and age, we don't want to be giving things out that aren't wrapped because I think people are very nervous about taking things that aren't prepackaged. So this would be a very easy thing to create and pass out. And who wouldn't love some chocolate and a smile? So that is project number one. Let me grab project number two. And while I'm getting set up, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, if you're following me on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like these projects. And also, if you're following me on YouTube, come on over to Facebook and find me at facebook.com forward slash stamp it with Debbie. 
I'll leave the links in the, the comments below so that you can also find them. Okay, this is project number two. I tried to do um, one of each of the things. I didn't do cocktails, but I'm doing chocolate, coffee, and cookies because I thought that it would be real cute. So this is for all of our coffee drinkers. We need a piece of early espresso cardstock, and that is four and a quarter by 11, and we scored it at five and a half. I have a piece of crumb cake, and that's four by five and a quarter, and hopefully you can see this new diamond embossing folder. It's really nice, and I just ran that through the embossing machine. And again, four by five and a quarter. We're not doing anything special to this piece, so we can go ahead and put it right on the front. This piece is two inches by five and a quarter, and of course we need to do a little bit of stamping on there. So let me grab my stamps. I'm just gonna trade this out just a little bit here. Okay, so the first thing we need is the A Day Without. Let me bring my piercing mat back. Now my other card here I did in very vanilla. This one I'm trying in white just to see if I like what that looks like better. So I'm going to do up here A Day Without. And then the word coffee, I did go ahead and use the dyes and... I die cut that. I used some of our new adhesive backing to run through. So all I have to do is just peel that backing right off. And I'm gonna put this on here, coffee. And then I need to take my little coffee cup and I'm gonna put two of those on there. Now you could die cut this coffee cup if you wanted to, or you can just stamp it right on. I'm trying to keep it single layer, but like I said, if you wanted to, you could definitely um, cut them out and make it 3D, or I think it'd be even cute just to pop one of them up. All right, I'm gonna use my soft suede to Get the little steam coming out of the top there. And then for these coffee cups, I used uh, Coastal Cabana and Magenta Madness. And so I'll just use those again. And I think last time I stamped off this time I'm going full force, so my cups are gonna be a little bit darker, but that's okay. Who doesn't love a nice, bright coffee mug first thing in the morning? This one is Magenta Madness. And there's that one. Now the last thing that we need to stamp is on the inside. So let me get that stamp real quick. And I'm gonna do that again with the early espresso. And remember the orientation of your card. I've stamped many times thinking my card was portrait and it's actually landscape. So just make sure that you're going the right direction. And I think on this one, I'm actually going to stamp another little coffee mug on the inside. So what, what about for you? What's your guilty pleasure? Are you a coffee drinker? Are you a chocoholic? Do you like cocktails or is cookies? If I had to pick just one, I probably would pick cookies. I actually do drink coffee, but um, truth be told, it's not really coffee, it's creamer. I like a lot of creamer, 
in my coffee. So I'm, I'm guessing it's more creamer than coffee. Okay, so that's for the inside. I thought I would just brighten that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna clean that stamp off real quick and we'll be ready to assemble. All right, here we go. This piece is all ready. All we need to do is add a little adhesive on the back. Remember that's cut at two inches by five and a quarter. So it fits right on the front there. I'm gonna put it as close to the middle as I can. And again, if you wanted to use the die cut to cut out a cup, uh, one of the cups of coffee, I'm gonna pull that out real quick just to show you. You could easily, this is the coffee die cut. You could pop those up or you could pop one of them up. That would be really cute. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of simple stamping so as to not overwhelm anybody and, and let you know that sometimes it's okay to just do a one layer card. That's perfectly fine. They don't all have to be super fancy. All right, here's the inside. And I'm gonna move my piercing mat out of the way. What do you think? I kind of think that I like the very vanilla. I'm not sure if you can see the um, difference in there, but I think the, the one on the left is very vanilla. And I actually think I like that a little better. I'll let you look at them for just one minute while I grab project number three. All right, let me put this one aside. And here's project number three. What do you think? Cookies, because adulting is hard. You guys, I love this stamp set so much. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or if you've seen it close up, but it says, today's plan, consume, and you can put cookies, coffee, cocktails, chocolate. It says, you make everything better. It says, today's plan, consume cookies, chocolate. I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too because adulting is hard. A day without today is, um, you're just like, today is a coffee kind of day, chocolate kind of day. It's super, super fun. So this one, again, I'm keeping kind of simple. And it's just one layer. And so I'm starting out with a crumb cake base at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm gonna grab my piercing mat and I had a little piece of scrap paper. I'm gonna grab that again because I'm going to stamp cookies all over this and I don't want the cookies to get all over my piercing mat. I'm gonna use soft suede. That's one of my favorite browns. So you're just gonna randomly like stamp some of them on, some of them off, some right side up, some upside down. Just randomly stamp them all over your card. And then I'm going to, I, I probably would not put another layer on this one, so I'm going to stamp a cookie on the inside too. And then I need my, because adulting is hard, so I'm going to grab that. My husband doesn't like the word, the the saying because adulting is hard. He thinks that's a really funny, funny saying that people say adulting. I'm done adulting, but I think it's kind of funny. My kids actually say it a lot. All right, so now I have a piece of very vanilla here, and this is three quarters of an inch by about three inches, but you may need to cut a little bit off if it's too long. So what I would do is start a little more towards the left. And we have our stamp on there. And then we're gonna use a little bit of the baker's twine to just tie a little bow on the end, just to 
give a little more dimension to our card since we're keeping it one layer. And so I actually think mine's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut some off. I'm gonna cut a little banner. Whoops, I'm sorry, I had you off camera. Cut a little banner here on the end. And then I'm just gonna take this baker's twine. I need to leave enough so that I can, I'm sorry, linen thread, so that I can take it around a couple times. And then I'm just gonna tie a little bow here. Like I said, that just gives our card a little bit more dimension because we're keeping it pretty much one layer. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the tail end and then I'm gonna move this down just a little so it's not covering my words. And I'm gonna put that on with a dimensional, two dimensionals actually. And I wanted this one over here on the lower right corner. I'm gonna line it up right to the edge of my card. And then, again, I've already cut out the word cookies. Yes, cookies. And I ran it through with that adhesive on the back. So if you don't have this, you can just use your fine tip glue or the Tombow. So I just peel the backing off. And I'm going to put that right on there. Cookies. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I did stamp a cookie. And I stamped it originally in early espresso just to give the chocolate chips a darker color. And then I colored it in with my Stampin' Blends, the new Cinnamon Cider, Light Cinnamon Cider Stampin' Blends marker. And then I'm just using one more dimensional. And I'm going to put that cookie on there. So that's it. What do you think of today's projects? Are these... The kind of projects you can see yourself making. I really like giving fun, whimsical kind of projects out to people, and um, I hope that you do too. And if you're interested in ordering this set, you can visit my online store at stampitwithdebbie.stampinup.net, and I would love to be your demonstrator. Again, if you place an order of $35 or more through my online store using the host code that I'll leave in the comments below, I will send you the make and take projects for, or the make and take kit for these projects this week. Again, thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope the rest of your day is absolutely wonderful. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again soon.